The Kiva Watch project, which began operating in May, is set to increase Rwanda's electricity output. It uses methane gas from Lake Kivu. The gas extraction facility is very, very unique because there's no other lake in the world with, with this kind of methane, methane in the lake, so it's never been in an industrial scale. But also the power plant, which is basically uh, uh, very basic, uh, ordinary Wärtsilä power plant, but now uh, instead of natural gas, we are using methane gas. Methane gas is formed by decomposing matter on the bed of the lake. The company behind the project plans to use the gas to power a 26 megawatt plant, with plans to increase that to 100 megawatts by 2020. Currently, less than 25% of Rwanda's population has access to electricity. The reality is that electricity in Rwanda is very expensive. It's a big issue for factories. If the government does reduce the prices, it will be a good thing for electricity consumers. We hear that the electricity production is increasing in the country. It will help a lot if this does happen. It will be a good thing for investors, and this will contribute to the reduction of high prices. Kivu Watt is set to cost between 500 and 600 million US dollars. It's part of a network of projects aimed at ensuring 70% of the population has access to power either on or off the national grid by 2018. We are discussing with the regulator on how the tariff can be reviewed and uh, it is clear that the tariff will be reviewed downwards, especially for uh, industries. It is a must if we want to increase uh, uh, exports or if we have to invest in, uh, in, uh, in local made products. Uh, we, we have to invest in industries, we have to, to attract investors. So to be competitive in the region, we have to, to review downwards the, the tariffs. Broader access to power is vital in boosting economic growth in Rwanda, which is one of several countries struggling to increase electricity supplies to meet the demands of a growing population. Catherine Omwando, CCTV.